Welcome to the Heat Report by Chat Sports. You need to be subscribed. And I was looking at some analytics, and over the last two weeks, 61% of our viewers are not subscribed. You need to change that because over the course of the offseason, we are going to have everything covered when it comes to the draft, trade rumors, free agency. So don't miss out and make sure you stay locked in with us here at the Heat Report as we're on the road to get to 12K subscribers. Let's get today's show started. Jimmy Butler, is he going to get traded? An NBA reporter, I could say, predicted a Butler trade. And then also, conflicting Donovan Mitchell rumors. Is he going to sign that four-year long-term extension with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Or is he not going to and get dealt this offseason? We'll kick things off with Jimmy Butler because he is the main topic on the Miami Heat right now. And this is coming in from Howard Beck, who is a reporter for The Ringer. I mean, not the most reliable guy, but does have over 118,000 followers on Twitter, so it's not like it's nobody. He said today that Jimmy Butler will be traded. Rival executives have been buzzing about it for months for all the obvious reasons. Butler is about to turn 35 with a lot of hard miles and a lot of injuries. I, I, I know that there are some fans out there that want Jimmy traded and are open to it. I'm just here to tell you right now that the Miami Heat are simply not going to trade Jimmy Butler. Like, is Howard Beck on the payroll of Daryl Morey and the Philadelphia 76ers? Like, what, what is happening here? The Heat aren't trading Jimmy. Pat Riley is not going to want to go into a rebuild. So why would he deal away Butler at this point in time? Like, he's going to want to compete and try to finish out this build with Jimmy as Pat Riley himself is over 80 years old. He's not going to stick around for a rebuild. He wants to try to compete now. And I got to be honest. I'm absolutely fired up. Did you see what Jason Tatum said today? That freaking loser. I just I want you to know that I want to use a bigger word than freaking, and I really toned it down for you. He said that the Heat are always easy. Going into Miami is easy. I get it. You just won the NBA championship. You're riding it high. You can talk your shit. But here's the thing. It's never been easy. It's two and one. In favor of Miami, when the Heat and Celtics match up fully healthy in the postseason since Jimmy Butler joined the team. I can't stand and take what the Boston Celtics are trying to put out there when Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. They are losers, and the Heat need to get back healthy, upgrade the roster. I don't want to get rid of Jimmy. Bring his ass back. Get better pieces around them to punk those losers in Boston. They're front running because we were banged up last year, man. I can't stand it. I need Jimmy Butler on this team. I need him back healthy with a better supporting cast so we can go out there and show the Celtics that they were lucky we got injured. God damn, I hate them. I'm fired up, man. If you're with me forever and always, spam it. F Boston down below. I want to see millions. As many comments, as many views as we have on this video, I should see F Bostons in the chat. F those losers. Come on, spam the F Bostons down below. All right, let's shift the conversation to Donovan Mitchell now because there's a ton of conflicting rumors on the Spida and what is going on in Cleveland. We start with this, a Heat legend, Udonis Haslam, went up on Get Up ESPN and was talking about Donovan Mitchell. And he mentioned that I don't know if he's really interested in going back to Cleveland. I don't think Cleveland is his first choice. I think he might really want to get out of Cleveland. If you look back when he was traded to the Cavs, Cleveland wasn't even on his radar of teams where he wanted to go. It was New York. It was another team down south somewhere. I ain't going to say no names, but it was other teams that he was talking about going to. Cleveland was never on the list of teams that he wanted to go to in the first place. In Udonis Haslam, we trust. Doing the Lord's work on ESPN, giving Miami some love. But on the real, though, like I have tried to say this, and that's been one of my leading points here on the Mitchell stuff over the past month. When he was dealt from Utah to Cleveland, he didn't really have that much say in the matter. But it was pretty wide known that he wanted to go to Miami because he trains in the 305, is best friends with Bam Adebayo, 
or he wanted to go to New York because that's where he's from. And I don't think that changed. Like, he still wants to play with Bam in Miami, if you're asking me. Now, the question is, what will he do? Like, will he actually follow through on those thoughts that I think and many believe he has, or will he stay with the Cavs? He is the biggest domino in the entire NBA offseason. Like, it's not like Damian Lillard last year, in my opinion, where it's like people are holding out. Like, free agents are waiting to see what happens with Dame. Because if Dame ended up getting traded in Miami last year, the entire landscape of the NBA would have been different because different trades, different moves didn't happen. But like for instance, like Kelly Oubre, campaign, like some of these guys were waiting to come to Miami. And if the trade happened, they would have signed as on the vet men to help the Heat bench like in July rather than waiting till August to sign with their respective teams. Like, I don't think that's going to happen with Donovan Mitchell, but I do believe some teams are going to be waiting to see what Donovan Mitchell decides to do before they go ahead with the rest of their offseason. I just hope the decision happens much more quickly than the Damian Lillard situation so we don't have to wait two months. I'll say that. But make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are going to have daily coverage of the Miami Heat. We set it off the top. There is not going to be a better place for Heat coverage on YouTube. Stay locked in with us as we have the latest draft news, rumors, and more on your Miami Heat. I'm just going to continue to talk about Donovan Mitchell here because he is the three-level scorer that Miami absolutely needs to help Jimmy and Bam. He can do it from the three-ball range. He can do it attacking the cup, getting to the free throw line. There's just a million different things that Donovan Mitchell can bring to the table and the efficiency that he displayed in the postseason this year and in the past is something that is really intriguing to me and it's why I just simply need Donovan Mitchell in Miami. Now, there is some conflicting rumors when it comes to Mitchell and what he's actually going to do. We talked about how Udonis Haslam believes that Mitchell is going to opt to not sign an extension and ultimately be traded. Michael Scotto, who is a NBA insider, has different ideas. He reported that the Los Angeles Lakers, Philadelphia 76ers, Miami Heat, Houston Rockets and Brooklyn Nets are under the impression that Donovan Mitchell is extending with the Cleveland Cavaliers this offseason, multiple sources told Hoops Wire. My initial reaction to this is like, I'll believe it when I see it. Like, I think that he's been pretty consistent in his reports that Mitchell is going to sign a long-term extension and he is not going to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers, but... I'm not going to react to that information and believe that until I see the breaking news Donovan Mitchell has signed a long-term deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's just how I feel. But predict it for me. Will Donovan Mitchell stay in Cleveland? Type S if you think he signs the long-term deal. Type L if he doesn't and ultimately gets dealt this offseason. I'll close out the show with this. I want Donovan Mitchell the most. I want him Badly. Like, I desperately want him to be a member of the Miami Heat. But even if he does stay with Cleveland and sign a long term deal, I'm not going to be stressed. There's other way to improve the roster. There is. Like, it's not like last year where it feels like it's Damian Lillard or bust. If we miss out on D Mitch, that's fine. Take a look at Trey Young. Take a look at Kyle Kuzma. Take a look at Paul George. Many trades to get better on the margins, like Brooke Lopez, to add size and spacing on the offensive end. Like There are many ways to make moves that aren't blockbuster all-NBA guys that make you better and have you as a better competitive and co team that can compete in the Eastern Conference. So, Pat Riley, you better have a plan in place, my friend, because if we just run it back, you're going to lose some of the fan base. You're not going to lose me. I'm not going anywhere. But maybe I should because it's going to be a frustrating season if they just run it back. All right, that's going to do it for today's show. If you have any questions or just want more Miami Heat news, rumors, memes, content, whatever you want in between shows, follow me at Nick underscore Roloff on Twitter. Go Heat. I'll see you with a video tomorrow.